I want to get into the notaries because there's a lot of misnomers about the notaries. You see, the notaries has an, an awesome uh, responsibility unknowing to them, uh, and that's unfortunately, but when they go into the history of notaries, the notaries was commissioned by kings, and they were actually their sidekick. I mean, kings entrusted the notaries better than, in, than anyone else. So, and it was always when a king was, had a, sent out a messenger, the only way that we knew the messenger, it, it was the, the, the document that came from the king was authentic, it came through a notary. So a notary has the ability to authorize all documents. Uh, and here's the beauty about the notaries uh, in recent uh, affairs, especially when it comes to uh, debt collectors. The Notaries, when you have any particular debt, if someone is notifying you that they are attempt to collect a debt, you can actually take it to the notary, have the notary authenticate that account, at which case they cannot. So the notary can come in and say, I'm sorry, where is the original for this debt? Because for you to make claim on it, you have to show no, you have to show the original. And and when the notaries are getting involved, uh, they tend to want to back out. So, and I'm hearing from quite a few people that when they have used the notary to intercept the debt collector's effort, almost they they just scurry and run and try to sell it to another debt collector. So that's how really effective the, the notaries are. The clerk of the court, that role technically belongs to a notary. <laughs> but they dumped down the note they dumped down the educational level of the notary and gave that position to a clerk of the court. Well, they're well, not authorized by the state to authenticate documents. Only the, the notaries are. They are the eyes and ears of the Attorney General of any given state. Only they can authenticate any document. So what's going on in the courts is the, the procedures are even incorrect there because it should be notaries that they're and they're not using them. As a matter of fact, in most cases, some clerk of the courts down, downright just don't even acknowledge a notary. And in the, it is the notary who has tremendous power. Right. So, uh, and that's where the fallout is. And then the notaries are unaware of their enormous job description. And the notaries can, again, going back into having three or more notaries, they can actually have court. And they also have enforcing power. They actually can take that order to the sheriff because the sheriff are only supposed to take orders directly from the courts. They're not to operate under any uh, premise. And yet, you got <laughs> the bankers are foreclosing on homeowners and they're using the sheriff to do it. They're, they're supposed to be under the direct uh, order of the courts and not on the bankers. So what's going on here? So perhaps our, our sheriff department became a private uh, security force because under no circumstances should the sheriff be taking any orders from anyone else other than a court appointed judge or, or elected judge. But basically that order must come directly from a sitting judge or judges. And yet they are out there pretty much mafia, you know, that sends their bodyguards to kick in doors and that's, you know, it's inappropriate for, for one. Um, so there is so much blatant breaching of laws of their procedure of what the guidelines that were set for them to follow. And the only reason why that is is because it is because of flesh versus paper. So uh, that has to be corrected. And the three checks and balances that the people have is the notaries, the grand jurors, and the jurors.